So you have a Fronius inverter and you find it's showing state 443 on the screen and it's coming up with the uh, the red light as you might be able to see in there state 443 now in the manual for Fronius inverters it says that the state 443 code is for uh, a DC DC power transfer failure now in my experience as a Fronius service agent I've usually found it it has been a problem inside the uh, inverter which needs replacing uh, replacing a component which has gone faulty but uh, the best thing to always do if you're having any state code on a, on a Fronius inverter is to try rebooting the system. Now to do that we'd follow the shutdown procedure for a solar power system which is usually turn off the AC then you turn off the DC. So we'll just come over the switchboard here find the solar supply main switch there we are right there and, and flick that off. That should make the inverter come up with state 101 just check it out there state 101 now we'll turn off the DC so we'll find the uh, PV ray isolator right here in this case Oop. and we'll flick that off it's always important that you do it in that order always turn the AC off before the DC in a few moments we'll see the uh, screen go blank there as the inverter shuts down and we'll give it a few moments to uh, just uh, drain any power out of the capacitors and then we'll try rebooting it and see if, it, see if anything changes when we start the system back up. Just a few seconds. Now with the uh, furnace inverters, they usually come standard with a five-year warranty. And uh, if, if you're not sure if it would be covered by the five-year warranty still, it's a good idea to give Fronius a call or ourselves here at Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions to just find out if the inverter is actually still under warranty. Now what we'll need to find out that is the serial number of the inverter which can be found on the bottom of the inverter which we'll have a look at in a moment. I'll just turn the system back on. Now turning the system back on doesn't really matter what order you do it in if you do the AC first or the DC but we'll turn on the the DC first and then the AC there we go and so usually uh, inverter will take a couple of minutes to start up so while it's starting up it says sinking AC there it's starting up we'll have a look at that serial number so it's very important um, if, if you do make a warranty claim or if you do want to see if, it's, if the inverter is under warranty to know what the serial number is and the serial number can usually be found straight underneath the inverter so we have a look underneath the inverter here and you'll see we've got the uh, data sheet badge there which isn't really coming into focus very well and you see this number here which is ending with a slash there we go so in this case the serial number is 202-11569 slash 15. The slash 15 denotes that it is an IG15. It's a 1.5 kilowatt Fronius inverter, IG15. As we can see on the uh, on the data sheet there. There we go, that's in focus, that's a bit better. Okay, let's see how this inverter is going, starting up. Okay, still starting up, coming up with power low now, which is another common fault with uh, Fronius inverters as well. They, they can come up with this for power low, but that should clear shortly and go to. St and we'll see if it actually does start up. In KC, power low, start up. Mm -hmm. 
So as a Fronia service agent, we've seen quite a few of these uh, these issues, but the great thing is Fronius as a company is very, very quick to actually deal with any issues that may arise. And with the Fronius service agent, service partner um, uh, people around the country, we can usually get a Fronius inverter which is displaying a fault if it's under warranty, repaired within a few days, which is much better than next to every other inverter manufacturer out there. Uh, we deal with, with warranty issues with a lot of inverters and we find that Fronius are by far the quickest uh, in getting solar power systems which are out of action because, of Fronius, because the inverter has died, getting them back in action. So this one's actually coming up with power low. It's not going back to the state 443 error. So this is definitely a fault inside the inverter. And in this case, we'll need to be replacing a faulty board inside the inverter. So you'll need to ring Fronius or talk to a local Fronius service partner to rectify an issue such as this. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped.